what do we leave off? Like just, winning? Yeah, we already talked about winning, but let's just talk about it. Again. Okay, it's, talking about winning doesn't suck. Yeah. It's enjoyable, actually. Uh, it's a long time coming. For Dallas Fuel, it's sun and sand, baby. They will fall. Spark with the pulse fall. What? <laughs> Holy moly. The MPs massive became the salt of so many targets. The Dallas Fuel. It's a clean wipe. Fearless. With the primal rage, That's and that is primal. a death sentence in close quarters. Yep, but in that close room. <laughs> oh my god. Is the Yaki down? Where's the healing gonna be now? Shut up. It's gigantic. Fearless takes fate in his own head. Be heading into the game shortly. The Shog versus the Atlanta Rain. And I don't want to be involved in some crazy four way tiebreaker behind the scenes. Whoever's yeah. job that is, by the way, on the Overwatch League back end side, God bless them. Man, what's at stake tonight? Seeding. If Atlanta 3 1 Shock, then we have a tiebreaker against Atlanta for seeding. If Shock win, then nothing happens. The only way we play is if Atlanta 3 1, and it's just for seeding. But I mean, it's still important. Seeding is important, so. Yes, we're waiting to see what's happening. Right now it's 1 1, so anything could happen. It's been fouled. It's not enough. 99% in counting. The overtime goes for the shock. They just knew the answers for it. They knew the Dragon Strike Gravitic Flux was coming through. And they managed to find a way out of it. The overtime goes down, but no one will be able to touch. As it is going to be the San Francisco Shock winning this series three to two. Of course. I think we know. What happened? Why can't you go home, Matt? Because we don't play a tiebreaker, Corey. That's why. We are six seed. We play Shock tomorrow, three thirty. Easy. So for the main melee qualifiers, you know, the first uh, game we had was against the San Francisco Shock, and they've kind of been our bane for multiple seasons, multiple years. Every single time it seemed like we would match up against them first round, and it would just lead to us losing, or you know, having a really close match, but then eventually going out to them. Uh, but this year just felt different, right? You know, kind of going into that day specifically, I just kind of felt really, really good. I just felt no matter what team we played that day, we were beating them. Like, it just wasn't even close. And they've only got a couple of players left remaining, and this is where the snowball really begins to shine. I cannot believe what we're witnessing here. The Dallas Fuel just not letting off in the slightest. Counter engage immediately. Look at that Primal Rage. Fearless could be massive with it, and he's caught Violet off the edge while the Sleep Dart comes onto Super. Not the same value. Fearless two. takes care of the back line. Still, Striker is alive with the Pulse Bomb. The Hoaxer Dreams, no one's on the car! They didn't touch the cart! Dungu gets the nano himself though. Once more, once builder. The show! The shield dance! He comes out best in class! Where does his pulse one go? Builder? His wits about it. He leaps. Oh my god! They again caught sleeping on the job. Stealing with Doomfist. It is the Air Matrix man. What? A gravitic flux! That is absurd! Oh, Juvie falls! And the immortality field comes, but it's a sad looking lamp, Matthew. Ridiculous stuff from Hanbin. Uh, what would have been their demise? And instead, the Outlaws now are looking at a long and hard couple weeks off for Dallas Fuel. It's Aloha, baby. They are looking like they set themselves up for a birth in Hawaii. It's sun and sand, baby. So going in as a sixth seed, like we barely made it. You know, if we had dropped the map here or there or not, you know, done the 3-0 against Boston, like we wouldn't be in this position. We would never have made it even into the qualifiers. So just to win and then win that convincingly was so exciting. And just the actual realization that, hey, we're going to a tournament. Hey, we're going to the top final four. Hey, we're going to Hawaii was just amazing. Hawaii <laughs> 뭐 이길 자신이 있었죠 원래 저는 일단은 북미가 좀더 잘한다 생각하기 때문에 아시아보다 그래도 이제 저희는 북미 쪽에 잘하는 팀들 다 이기고 올라왔기 때문에 
일단은 하와이를 갔을 때 이제 자신감이 있었습니다. 네. It was just amazing. It was, it was an incredible feeling, and obviously that made my job a bit more crazy because I had to, you know, I already had plans ready to go, but this was like, okay, it's go time. We're leaving in a couple of days. Pretty excited. We just got our flights booked. Yeah, looks pretty good. How excited are you? Really excited. I've never been, and I don't think any of the players have. In fact, I think it'd be kind of a good idea if we uh, ordered a few things from Favor here. So let me see. Uh -huh. We gotta get one of those. All right, we're good to go. Well, what did you get? None of your business, Corey. Now, I am um, just a couple of essentials. Don't worry about it. It'll be good. Probably the most important part. So I gotta always stay protected from the sun. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Yes, important. For me? For everyone. For me. Only you. Okay. Nice. You ready for Hawaii? Yep. Aloha. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's your dance? You're gonna do that on the beach? <laughs> Thank you, favor. Aloha. Oh, favor. You ready for Hawaii? I'm ready. Hmm? I forgot. I'm ready. I think they're ready for Hawaii. They're ready for Hawaii. Yeah. We'll see you there. Hawaii, Kanda. Hawaii, Kanda. Oh, I'm good. Hawaii, Kanda. Oh. Today, I'm going to be in 아, 거의 9시간 비행을 통해 하와이 호놀룰루로 갑니다. 어, 너무 좋아. 아이고. 어, 이게 하와이? 어, 이거네? 너무 좋아요. really impressive to, to, to finally be there like everybody talks about Hawaii and how cool it is and, and it really just didn't disappoint you know we were right on the beach when we got to our hotel uh, you know the weather was great 전 세계적으로 문제가 있고 나서부터 다음부터는 이제 제가 그 바닷가에서 그렇게 사람들이 노는 모습을 본 적이 없었는데 그걸 이제 너무 오랜만에 보니까 어, 굉장히 기억에 남는 것 같아요 so one of the things I, I do love about esports is the the idea of traveling with your team and going somewhere, right? And that, that really hasn't been a, th a thing yet until now. 우리 회사가 저희 회사가요 힘 힘을 좀 썼어요. 호텔이 하와이에서 제일 좋은데 소감 뭐 그냥 이제 방이 너무 좋고. So going into Hawaii, obviously there's a lot of precautions we had to take due to COVID-19. You know, making sure we were very very cautious. You know, obviously we always wear masks where we can pre-testing before uh, we flew and uh, you know just being extra extra safe it was a pretty safe environment all all around and shout out to you know the university of hawaii manoa um the overwatch league and everyone involved because i think it was a really safe uh, travel and i think everybody felt really secure uh with taking that trip <laughs> Thank you.
제가 계속 델러스에 있다고는 아니지만 그래도 이제 가족 아니겠습니까 델러스에 더 열심히 해서 우승할게요 You know, we didn't have too much time to like settle in, practice, whatnot. And honestly, when we went into our first game, like after the warm up, it definitely seemed that you know we were ready to go. So I, I was really confident going into that first match against Chengdu because even though they're a very strong team and every single team that came to Hawaii were really strong, like I, I didn't seem like we had dropped a beat since our qualification matches, and it showed in our performance. <laughs> and EMP could just wipe out Chengdu in one go. If he comes through, and look at that, that's a six, man. Dallas Fuel looking beautiful right now. Surely not fearless. No way. Might be about to be witnessing something crazy. Get away from me. He's chasing me down in the primal rage. But it's not going to be enough. You cannot escape him. Well, I've work done as well. The back line. Gaga's just desperately trying to basically stop this in its tracks. Fearless going down. I mean, despite the fact that this looks so good for Dallas, they are winning this team fight. Sparkle oh, as well. It. I mean, nobody is stopping him. Fearless has been running all over the Chengdu Hunters. You are witnessing the best Winston in the Overwatch League right now, the best Winston in the world. He's on another level, man. Well, Fielder, I should say, will fall. Spark with a pulse bomb! What? Holy moly! Off the back yeah. of Doha's EMP here. Could be devastating. Oh, God, God, already dead! From the, the EMP! Money. The EMP is massive. It came to so many targets. The Dallas Fuel! It's a clean wipe! They pull it out, they whittle down the time bank, and they take away the series. Three to one, they will be moving forward here in the main melee. <laughs>
Quite honestly, I think the team was a bit disappointed about how we kind of played that day. Even though we won, it was a bit too close to what we expected. Like, quite honestly, a lot of those matches that we played should have been like almost a 3-0. Not to say they weren't close matches, but like we should have just closed the deal out, especially on like Anubis. Right after that match had happened, you know, obviously there's a lot of good performances from specifically Lip, but the big thing for our coaches and our players, like they weren't happy with that win. They knew as soon as it was over, like we were glad, yes, we got it, we made it to winners finals, but the, the big thing for us was like, hey, you know, we need to fix stuff, we need to be ready for tomorrow. So that was like one of the first things I saw them talking about, you know, they're frustrated with how they played, they didn't want to be that close, and, and, I was, and that's what you want to see. You don't want to see uh, teams get complacent, you, you want to see like, all right, what's next? This is what we need to change. And, you know, we're, we were still, you know, preparing for the next day. <laughs> When you have close matches like that, that increases tension and you're really like, you know, you're frustrated doing your own gameplay, but like that's the reason we showed up the next day and, and really took it to Shanghai and solidified us winning the whole tournament. <laughs> his life. The reef is still ticking along quite nicely here, man. But the fielder have the point yet. Here's Fearless. Shatter. Oh, the nano boost goes to waste. <laughs> Lip is taken down with the charge. And Izzyaki sends that one down the gurgler. And there's a diva hacked on the point void. It's going to be ejected. And the self-destruct from Harbin claims him instantly. Desperation barrage from Fletter. But he's taken down midway through. Harbin is the final blow. Soundberry now comes out from the Dallas Fuel. And Sparkle has a death blossom. Time to bring it down. And so Lip and Izzyaki crumble and now we've got a reaper in the back line fate has nowhere to go and sparkle saves what could have been a rough fight for the fuel again void desuited fearless finds wow well, excuse me fearless finds flutter with a charge he was hacked he couldn't fly away boots on the ground was not the game that he wanted to play void is desuited fate has to step up now and make something happen but it's all blue all over the kill feed and he's a yuck he can't touch the Dallas oh. will get King's Row. Sparkle doesn't get what he came for, but at least Dallas get rid of Fate and a big bio on the Void, who may be desuited if he doesn't run away. What? Oh, oh no! That's it's a spawn! So Dragons don't have the players to make a decent comeback right now, but they don't have the time to assemble their forces. Lee Dagon is in rally, but he's being knocked back, knock around, up and down, off the map. You better believe it. Flatter taken down by the self-destruct, and there it is, the fuel getter done. Bill a diva on the point, and here's the Doomfist. Doha getting serious now. Void can't do anything. <laughs> he got these suited, and the Dallas fuel. Are they going to do this? Nano boost to Doha. All the eggs in this basket right now, and that's the correct choice. The Dallas fuel come out on top. What a fight to end the match. Falls, but is the down? Where's the healing going to be now? Shut up! It's gigantic. Fearless takes fate to his own hands. He eventually falls to the self-destruct, but the damage is done. The dragons are limping forward. Time for the time being, good immortality field for Fielder. What a lifesaver this man is. That's eventually gone down, but it buys him enough time to keep Fearless alive. Fate could be in trouble, but this could be falling apart, and it is. It's a yucky sound, and the Dallas Fuel surge forward. They see the glimmer of light. Transcendence had to be used, but it might not be enough here. Lip's gonna go down. Six versus four. Pulse bomb available for Sparkle now. Is this the moment for him to use it? He gets the stick. Izayaki is down. And the cycle of misery is finally broken. Today, those that burn blue. As soon as we knew they were going to win, it was just like, you know, obviously elation of joy and, and happiness. And I've been with the Overwatch League since its beginning with the Dallas Fuel. But obviously it's been four years since we've had a start of a successful season. And it's uh, it was tough for me. It was real tough. I, you know, I almost shed a tear. It was uh, it, because, you know, it's, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster. That's what esports is, right? But it meant so much for the team. And I think the organization and Hastro and everybody involved, like all of our team staff, you know, obviously they're all happy and, and Yong was joking around me, almost shedding a tear.
there's all this jokey stuff, but they're they're really happy, and I think they're really proud of the fact that you know Rush came in here to join this team because he wanted to turn it around and he wanted to really you know show that it can be a championship caliber team, and he did. It was it was just it was surreal, man, and like. I know our fans and I know our, our, our team in general have, have wanted a win that we've, you know, kind of always missed before. Like we've had pieces of brilliance in multiple seasons and it just never seemed to click. And like with this team already, you know, we've, we've gotten a championship and it's just a championship caliber team that we have here. And like, you know, I know that a lot of these guys have won and, and had success and that's why, you know, they did so well. I think they, they were already champions in their own minds and they were ready for this. This is just the beginning at the end of the day, right? It's like, you know, yes, we won the main melee, that's great and all, but we've got to keep our heads, heads down and focus because when you're at the top, you need to continue to leap, try hard and work hard to stay at the top because everybody's gunning for you now. You know, we have a target on our backs. I always say to the players of the past, and I always say to the players of the past, I've won the main melee, but our team did well, and the team did well. 상대 팀도 잘하고 우리 팀도 잘했는데 우리가 더 잘해서 이겼다 그게 아니라 솔직히 상대 팀도 별로 못했고 우리가 조금 덜 못했기 때문에 저는 이겼다 생각하기 때문에 우리가 못한 부분들이 되게 많았어요 그래서 그 부분들을 계속 고쳐 나가면서 점점 그런 것들이 이제 줄어 줄어들어야지 이제 다음에도 더 잘하고 이길 수 있다고 생각합니다. 네. I know this means a lot for the, for the fans, and I feel you in that a lot. I generally do. And you know, seeing some of the fan reactions uh, of people that I have seen on Twitter constantly, you know, no more fuels bad man, it's fuels good man. You know, and shout out to Justin and the, with the watch party that was hosted, like all all these dired fans, Fahrenheit, all all you guys, like you guys have been there from the beginning, and that's really important to us. And like. Like these guys, even though they've just been here for a few months, they know, they know that fans are, are everything. And you know, the fact that you guys stick by us and you know, really support us is, is really important. It makes this victory even sweeter. It's an emotional moment and I don't know if you hear this, but Sparkle is just screaming. That couldn't have been worse. I, I mean, it's great. I mean, that makes the cut, but oh. Yeah, it's totally I hate him and love him at the same time. But yeah, tune in to twitch.tv slash, I, I think it's a sparkle, I don't know. But yeah, you can find him, he'll, he'll scream your ears off.